might remember me from the salad video. But today we're going to talk about soups. Did you know that you can eat a soup every day at Hale and Hardy for three months and never eat the same soup twice? Welcome to our soup station. This is what we do best. Just like our dressings, our soups are made fresh daily at our commissary kitchen. Are you ready for Soup 101? Let's go. Okay, so let's talk about the tools that we need for our soup station. First and most important are gloves. You must always wear gloves when handling food. Change your gloves when they are torn or soiled. You can never change your gloves enough during the shift. Additional tools are bain-marie, bain-marie lid with label, soup ladle, sample cups, soup cups with lids, grease pencil, paper towel, and sanitizing solution bucket with wiping cloth. Guests can choose from four different sizes of soup. Small, also known as our combo size, medium, large, and quart size. There are three sizes of soup lids. One size fits the small and medium soup cup. One size fits the large soup cup. And one size fits the quart. Guests can choose a soup half sandwich combo or a soup salad combo. The combo comes with a small soup. If a guest would like to upgrade the size of a soup, they can do so for a dollar more for a medium and two dollars more for a large. The menu boards at Hale and Hardy help make us distinct. They are colorful and informative. Every guest will be looking at our menu boards, so we want to make sure they're in good condition, updated with the soup specials, and easy to read. The soup menu boards list our daily specials and everyday soups. Hale and Hardy offers five soups every day year round. They are green and yellow split pea with double smoked bacon, chicken vegetable served with noodles or couscous, Tuscan white bean with spinach, three lentil chili, and ten vegetable. During the summer months, we also offer a chilled gazpacho as an everyday soup. In addition to our daily soups and everyday soups, we also offer a monthly special. Some of our soups are vegetarian, low-fat, or dairy-free. We use the letters VLD to identify these soups. VLD refers to the following. V means the soup is vegetarian and contains no meat. L signifies the soup is low fat, and D indicates the soup is dairy free. Soups may be all three or any combination of VLD. It's important that you are aware which soups are VLD as you will be asked by the guests. Along with menu boards, we have magnets to identify when a soup is new, temporarily unavailable, or sold out. They are new. This is used to identify any new soup we are introducing. Be back soon. This is used to identify when we are temporarily out of a soup but it will be returning shortly. And sold out. This is used to identify soups that we have completely run out of. Soup labels have information on both the front and back of the label. The front always faces the guest and contains the following information. The name of the soup, whether or not the soup is VLD, the calorie range from small to large, and the unique number for that soup, which is written on the soup lid for the cashiers. The back of the label contains ingredient information. Ingredients are categorized as meats, dairy, vegetables, and seasonings. There may also be ingredients such as legumes, beans, water, or oil. 
RH on the back of the label means the soup is reheatable and can be used the next day. Gluten-free means that the soup contains no grains, such as wheat. If a guest asks if there is a specific ingredient in the soup, simply remove the label from the bain-marie lid, turn it over, and check for the ingredient. If a guest would like to see the label, simply remove the label from the bain-marie lid and hand it to them. While ladling soup might seem easy, there really is a technique to it. Soup ladles are bent at a 45 degree angle. This makes for a smoother pour. With your hand in the shape of an L, grab the handle in the middle of the ladle. Slide your hand up and under the lip of the ladle until the handle comes to rest between your forefinger and thumb. Slide your middle finger down the handle of the ladle until it's pointing in the same direction. Each time you open the bain-marie lid, you stir the soup. Stir the soup from the bottom up, back to front, at least three times. This helps to distribute the heat and ingredients in the soup. If a guest would like to see the soup, simply open the lid, rotate the front of the bain-marie to face the guest, stir three times, and lift the ladle in the guest's direction. Never pour soup on the inside of the bain-marie lid to show the guest. With so many soups to choose from, our guests often like to sample the varieties. In fact, our guests can try as many soups as they would like. It's important that they are satisfied with their choice. To serve a sample, take the two ounce sample cup and fill it a quarter of the way. Remember, this is just a taste, so a little portion is just fine. Set the sample cup on the glass counter. Never hand the sample cup to the guest. Warn the guests that the soup is very hot. When serving soup, grab the soup cup and matching lid. Write the number of the soup on the lid with a grease pencil. Place the lid on the bottom of the cup. Open the bain-marie lid, grab the ladle, and stir the soup. Ladle carefully. Do not overfill the ladle. Fill it just below the lip. Pour the soup. Be careful not to touch the soup ladle to the cup. While you pour the soup, ask the guest if they would like seven grain, sourdough, or crackers. Set the cup down and place the lid on top of the cup. If soup spills down the side of the cup, take a paper towel and wipe the cup. Throw the paper towel away. Place the guest's bread choice on top of the soup lid. Place the soup and bread choice on the glass counter. Some of our soups are served with couscous, noodles, or rice. With these soups, simply fill the cup a third of the way. Once filled, pour the soup on top 